Hi folk, welcome back. In this little segment now, we are going to be looking at the advantages and disadvantages of number and bar scales. Now remember, we were looking at different scales and we said there are two types we can get. We can get a number scale, which is like one dot dot a million. In other words, one is to a million. Or we can get an actual bar scale or picture scale where we actually give you a little bar and we say the length of this bar is 10 kilometers or 100 kilometers. And then it's, uh, you're able to take that um, bar and work out the real life distance. Now, there are certain advantages to a number scale and a bar scale. There are also disadvantages to a number scale and a bar scale. And that's what we're going to look at in this segment. But quickly, let's just revise ourselves or remind ourselves what a scale is. So a scale refers to the relationship or the ratio between distance on a map and the corresponding distance on the ground. For example, on a 1 is to 100,000 scale map, 1 centimeter on the map represents 100,000 centimeters on the ground. A bar scale, also known as a picture scale or a graphic scale, is a means of visually showing the scale on the map. Now, I want to show you something here, and this shows one of the huge disadvantages of one of those types of scale. And you are going to determine which one is an advantage and which one is a disadvantage. So let's have a look. I've got a map here of uh, Port Elizabeth area, okay, the Eastern Cape, and we get given a scale. We're told here that our scale is 1 is to 5 million. Okay, I'm also told that this distance from here to here is 100 kilometers. Now, what I'm going to do with this map is we're going to blow it up. In other words, we're going to make it a lot bigger. And that's what I did in this next slide. So here we go. We look, you can see I've got this part of the map and I've made it a lot bigger. Now, when you look at that, you can see that my scale is still 1 is to 5 million. All right. It's written in a bigger font because as I enlarged the photo, so the font enlarged. But the figures haven't changed. It's still 1 is to 5 million. So I need to ask you if this graph has a scale of 1 is to 5 million, how can this scale that's showing the graph or showing the map a lot bigger have the same scale as 1 is to 500,000? Something doesn't seem right. Now, if we look at the bar scale, okay, we can see that in our first one, that little distance represented 100 kilometers. As the map got bigger, what happened to my bar scale? It also got bigger. We can see there's a huge difference between that line and that line. Okay, so as the graph grew bigger, so my bar scale grew bigger. So that distance represents 100. Now this big diff uh, line represents 100 as well. But that's because the graph got bigger. So as the graph got bigger, so the picture scale got bigger. The numbers here, the font got bigger, but the numbers didn't get bigger. It's still 1 is to 5 million. So with this case, I would say the better scale to use is looking at a uh, picture scale, okay, or a bar graph, because you can actually see as the one increases, as a map increased, so the bar scale increased as well. The numbers remain the same. And in the same way, if I took that same map, and you can see I've now taken it, and I've made it very, 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 very small, all right? Now, even though it's very, very, very small, this still says 1 is to 5 million, okay? It's just written in a much smaller font because as I had the writing and when I reduced that whole map, the writing got smaller as well. But the writing didn't change. It didn't suddenly say, okay, we're getting smaller, so let's change it, okay? Now, no longer 1 is to 5 million, we'll name, now make it 1 is to 10 million. No, it didn't do that. Okay, it got a lot, 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 lot smaller 
the font got smaller, not the numbers. But when we look at this bar, we can see that this bar got very tiny. And map got tiny, bar got tiny, but it still represents 100 kilometers. In other words, folk, what I'm trying to say to you is this, that for enlarging or reducing maps, our bar scale is far more accurate okay then the actual number scale in fact even when you take a map and you photocopy it you need to understand that when you photocopy something it doesn't come out the exact same size it's sometimes a little bit reduced or a little bit enlarged depending on the settings of your photocopying machine but so many times i've taken a map and I've photocopied it, and then I've tried to work out an answer and say, geez, why is the answer not the same as what it was when I did it on the original map? It's because I've taken the original map, photocopied it, and the photocopying isn't quite exactly to a scale of 1 is to 1. It might be to scale of 1 is to 1, comma, uh, 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 1. But that slight difference is making a huge difference in my answer when I'm dealing with large scales like this. You understand that? Okay, so even as a teacher, when I set a test and I'm doing it on maps and scale, I'll first photocopy the test and then I take a copy of that photostated copy, all right, and do my model answer based on that, not on my original question paper. Right, let's move on. We're going to show the similar sort of thing, but what we're going to do is we are going to do it with a bag. All right, and so we are going to say now, all right, I have a little bag here in diagram one, and I've got the same bag four times. The only thing is this bag is now enlarged in this diagram. So we're just going to work with diagram one and diagram two. Let's forget about diagram three and four for now. We're just going to focus here. Okay, so in diagram one, I'm told that I have a scale of 1 is to 15. What does that mean? That means one centimeter on the map or on the drawing represents 15 centimeters in real life. So I'm going to say here, I've got map and I've got real life. Okay. I have a scale of 1 is to 15. Now I'm going to take my ruler and my glasses so I can see the little millimeters and I'm going to measure from the width of this uh, bag from there to here. Okay, I take my ruler, I put it down on there and I measure it and it works out to being four centimeters. In other words, four centimeters on the map is going to represent so many centimeters in real life. How did I get that one to become four? I multiplied by four. How do I um, get it in real life? I also multiply by four. And we know that 15 times 4 is 60. So based on this, my bag is 60 centimeters wide. That's quite a big bag, okay? It's two of these rulers, all right? So it's from here, from the edge of the screen uh, to about just beyond the edge of that screen. That's quite a bag. Could you imagine all the stuff? Uh, your girlfriend uh, could keep in a bag like that. Now let's look at it. We've got the exact same bag. All we've done is we've enlarged the picture. But you will notice my number scales remain the same. So I've now got map and I've got real life. And we are saying that our scale is 1 is to 15. I'm going to measure the distance or the width of the bag from this point all the way to that point. Again, ruler comes out, glasses come out, and here we go. I now measure that, and I now get an answer of 6,5 centimeters. In other words, 6,5 centimeters on the map or the drawing, and how many in real life? How did I get that to be 6,5? I multiplied by 6,5, so I'm going to do the exact same thing this side. I'm not going to do it because my brain is rather sore this afternoon. So I'm going to say I've got 15, multiply that now by 6,5. And my answer works out to 97,5. So 97 comma five centimeters. That means three of these rulers. So from the edge of this 
uh, table all the way to about over here. That's pretty far, gone off the screen already. Okay, so something is wrong because I've got the exact same drawing here and the exact same drawing. The only thing is the one is bigger than the other. But the problem came in that when the picture got bigger, the writing got bigger, but the number never increased or decreased. That is a problem. Now we're going to do it again, but we're going to do it with our bar scale. In other words, we are now going to say, right, I have a bar scale, I've got a picture, I've enlarged the picture, and as I enlarge the picture, so the bar scale enlarged as well. Now, folk, I want to stress this, that I'm doing it on a board, so I might be slightly out, because I can't be 100% accurate with my measurements on this board, but we're going to try and get as close as possible. So looking at this one, I have map and I have real life. Okay, my map, we're going to measure and we are going to say with the glasses, I'm going to measure, look what I'm measuring, I'm measuring from this point to 15 centimeters. Okay, and I measure it and I've got to try and be as accurate as I possibly can and I measure it to be 13 millimeters. So I've said 13 millimeters on the map represents 15 centimeters in real life. We're now measuring the length of the bag from this point, okay, all the way to this point. And we've measured it already on this diagram, remember, and we measured it to be round about four centimeters. We're going to double check that again and so let's do it. We're going to say right from that point to that point is indeed four centimeters and I'm going to change it to millimeters and say 40 millimeters. Now folk, before I get 40 millimeters, let's get one millimeter. How do I make this 13 into one? I divide by 13, so I'm going to do the exact same thing this side. How do I get the 1 to 40? I times by 40, so I'm going to do the exact same thing this side. So out comes that wonderful calculator. We say 15 divided by 13, is it? Yeah, okay, whoops, where are we here again? 15 divide it by 13, then multiply that by 40, and I get an answer of 46,15. I'm going to round it to 46 centimeters. In other words, my bag is about this length and 15 more, round about this size, okay? A little bit more realistic, the size of bag. Now let's do this exact same thing again, but we're doing it with a larger picture. But remember, as the picture enlarged, so the scale enlarged. And we've got a scale of map is to real life. Now, let's check this out. What we've now got to do is we have now got to measure the length from this side. Okay, let's just try to get it from here, oops, to here, okay, and I'm going, in fact, 215, let's rather measure 215, so I'm going to put my ruler down, and again, I'm wearing my glasses, because I can't see these little tiny millimeters, and I get a reading of 21, 2, 3, around about 23 millimeters, so I know that 23 millimeters represents 15 centimeters in real life. What I now have to do is measure the distance or the width of the bag from that point to that point. So out come my uh, glasses and out comes my ruler and we do the measurement. So on measuring that, and again, I'm trying to be as accurately as I possibly can, I get a measurement of 68 um, millimeters. Okay, so 68 millimeters. Now, before I find 23, let's find one millimeter. How did I get that 23 to become one? We divide by 23. How do I get the one to become 68? We multiply that by 68. Okay, so out comes my calculator. 15 divided by 23 times 68, and we get an answer of 44,34. In other words, 44. 
four centimeters. Okay. Can you see that they are so, so close? And fuck, it will be slightly out because my measurements are very difficult to measure accurately with millimeters on my screen. But 46, 44 is more or less the same size, very different to this, 60 and 97. Can you see how important a bar scale is in comparison to a number scale? Okay, but there's still advantages and disadvantages to everything. Let's have a look at this diagram. All right, we're going to look at a bar scale. So, the advantage of a bar scale is when resizing a map um, that has a bar scale on it, the size of the bar scale will be resized with the map and it will therefore remain accurate. Brilliant, and we've shown that to you. A disadvantage of using the bar scale is that we have to measure the length of one segment and measure the distance on the map. Our calculations can be more complicated because we have to calculate how many segments fit into the distance measured on the map. So basically you're saying one of the disadvantages of that is that there are extra steps you have to do. You don't just get given the scale, you've got to work out that scale and that could uh, lead to careless mistakes and therefore your whole thing could be wrong okay now the disadvantage of using a number scale is when resizing maps that use the number scale it is important to know that the scale changes with the map so that's a major disadvantage we've shown you already remember we got one bag same bag we said it was 60 next minute we said it was 90 centimeters. An advantage of the number scale is that we only have to measure one distance. We don't have to measure the length of the one bar segment. And our calculations are usually fairly simple. So we don't have to put in an extra step into this whole thing of uh, calculating a scale. Number scale, it's normally a much more simple way of finding the real scale. However, we have shown, though, that a bar scale is way more accurate, especially when we've increased or decreased the size of a map. All right, then. Finally, uh, we're going to take a, a little ad break. But just quickly, in this segment, we've covered the following. We've discussed both the advantages and disadvantages of a number scale and a bar scale. Trust you've learned something. We'll chat again shortly after the break. Cheers.